Today we'll be grading Amazing Spider-Man number 42. I've got two copies of it. A kind of a lower mid-grade copy and kind of an upper mid-grade, maybe even borderline high-grade copy here on the right. So I have my grading sheet ready here for the book on the left and the book on the right. So we'll just go through these together. And if you're interested in learning more about this points-based grading system that I came up with, just click the link in the description or above and you can find out more about that. But, so what we'll do is we'll just do these simultaneously. I've never done that, but I figured we could just go through each area of the book one by one. And then at the end, we have two books potentially graded here. So we'll look at the bindery on both. And this one's pretty blunted. You're not gonna be able to see any like bindery tears because it would be probably worn out by now or worn down by now. I don't see any kind of off centering or miswraps or any problems like that. We're just gonna stick with not putting anything on that one. That's a potential bindery ding or issue there, but I'm guessing that's more of a defect from, you know, being bumped at some point. I'm not seeing any kind of tears there either. Everything looks in, on center. Staples are pretty good. They're centered well, so I don't see any bindery issues on this one as well. Okay, so now let's look at the corners of both books. So we'll look at the corners and edges on this one, then we'll look at the corner and edges on that one. So the corners are fairly well blunted here. That one's not too bad. Definitely blunted on the top. We'll just flip it over real quick. Same thing. Corners are pretty good. They're actually not bad on here on the back. Um, I'd say the corners on this one, probably somewhere between moderate and extensive because of the blunting here on the, uh, the spine, top and the bottom of the spine. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go moderate, but we're gonna add a little bit more to it. And then, Let's do the edges as well. The edges is, are pretty banged up on this book. There's a lot of color breaks right along here. And there's some dings here on the right hand side. There's a pretty significant one right there. Same thing on the top, same story as the bottom of the cover. So we're to the extensive range already. I'm guessing we're not gonna get to major unless there's some kind of major tear. And I'm not seeing that. So I think it's pretty safe to say this is more than moderate. We're going to go extensive on the edges. And let's go ahead and look at this other one. Let's look at the corners first. Corners pretty good. Slight ding here, minor ding there. This corner's dinged. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure whether we would consider that. I, I think we have to consider that one moderate. So let's carefully flip this one over. This is a higher grade copy, so I'm going to be a little bit more careful with it. Which I guess you, sh you should use the same care with any book, but you know, when you have an ultra high grade or a reasonably high grade one this old, you want to take care. So this one's got a little bit of a ding here. And so I, I think we're in the moderate range. I would love to have been in the minor on this book and it, it presents well, the corners look good, but they're definitely beyond being just minor. So we're gonna go moderate on the corners. Let's look at the edges on this book. Edge has tiny little dings here. Here as well. I don't see a lot of marble chipping or anything. That's good. Tiny ding, tiny ding. So the accumulated, I would say this is a minor edge so far. And on the back, that edge looks really good on top. Got some marble chipping right here, I believe. Got a, a little bit of a dent right here. I'm going to call that part of the cover, though. We'll handle that separately. Edge looks really good on the back, except for some tiny marble chipping. So I'm going to go minor on the edges on this book. Now let's look at the spines on these books. This one's beat up pretty good. It's got several color-breaking ticks here. They're moderate to the extensive end, and the accumulation of them were definitely too extensive on this spine. There's no splitting though, no tears, nothing like that, so we can't get to major on it, So, but we're definitely extensive on that spine, so that's what we're gonna mark. And on this one, the spine's just first impression is really nice on this book. There's one color breaking small tick right here, very minor, maybe a little ding here and a ding there, could be uh, the beginnings of a tick right there. Maybe just a slight little one right here that's hard to see. That could be almost a scratch. Got a scratch here on the cover, but I'll consider that part of the cover and not the spine. We'll handle that separately. 
But yeah, this spine is excellent on this book. This is one of the better spines you'll see on a book this age. That's, you know, obtained in the wild, right? Yeah, I think we're going to stick with minor on the spine on this one, which is really rare on a book of this age based on my limited experience. So now we have staples. So we'll do the staples first, then we'll look at the covers on these books. Good news on this one is it looks tight, looks still attached. There's minor, maybe possible discoloration. Let me look at my magnification here. Maybe a minor discoloration. Let's look at the center if we can find it. Yep, found it instantly. Yeah, this is well attached, original, original staples. So, yeah, I think we're gonna, we're really good on these staples on this one. So we're gonna go tiny on the staples. We're not even to the minor point, I don't think. And let's just check the staples out on this one just to make sure. I think they're good on this one from what I've seen so far. Nicely attached. There is a stress line coming off the top one there. They're really shiny though. Let's just turn to the center again. I can see a dent that's extending through the book. And there's the staples. It's a really tight book. I'm not gonna open any further. Staples are firmly attached in there. So we'll call that stress line on the back, we'll call that uh, tiny. And that could be almost considered part of the spine, but we'll stick to just uh, tiny on that. I think we're good on that. Now we'll look at the covers. Um, you can see on this one, there's quite a bit of color breaking creases here. Uh, lots of color breaks here. It's just got some heavy, I'd say moderate wear. Like this book's been slid around. There's a big color breaking crease here and here. We're too extensive on this cover already. And uh, depending on what the back looks like, we could be getting toward major. But there's no rips or tears or anything major. It's not like hugely crinkled up. Um, there's just some moderate handling wear on the back here. It looks great otherwise. The back looks really good on this book. There's some tiny soiling. Nothing really to speak of. And slight tanning. So I think we're to the extensive on the cover here. I don't think we're getting to major. No, it's got plenty of um, areas with handling wear. There's some where you see thumb, I like thumb prints here that break color. But overall, it still presents fairly nicely. It's beyond moderate, but not quite to major, I would say. So we'll call it extensive on the cover. And this one, uh, it's got a lot of gloss to it. I can see that it lays fairly flat. The only thing I'm really seeing that stands out to me is a scratch here and a little color breaking bend right here. And there's a color breaking slight bend here. Minor, minor. This might get us to moderate on the cover. Let's just carefully turn this over. There's some slight tanning here. I've got this dent right here going through the book, but it's not torn, I don't think. There's one here as well. I think that would fix in a press. That's definitely got to be factored in here. So I think we're at moderate even with that dent. I don't think that's going to get us too extensive. So I'm going to go moderate on the cover. I do think that if we got rid of that dent, we could get on the low end of moderate on this cover. Because this scratch is not in a terrible place. I mean, it is on the black area of the cover. But it is kind of on the lower left. It doesn't really destroy the presentation of the book. This is where your eye is drawn to, and this looks really good in here. But this one and this one's going to get us to at least the low end of moderate. So I think after clean and press, we're not ever going to get to minor, just because there's a scratch here. But we could get to the low end of moderate on that. So let's see, last thing we got to look at is the pages. I've already done the pages on this one and they were in good shape. The dent does extend through the book. So we're going to have to, for now, we're going to go moderate on that. But we think that can be reduced to negligible really because I didn't see any kind of rips, tears, there's nothing missing. So I'm just going to put a question mark on where I think this book could get to on my sheet here, if you can see it. And I have this sheet here so I can do this while grading and then I we, we, were, we go to the computer after this. So um, yeah, so pages on this one we need to look at and then we're pretty much done with this part of the grading. All right, I'm gonna start with the back here. This one moved over. Nothing missing so far. Pages look good. 
maybe maybe off white to white yeah this is a uh, there's that famous forgot to mention this is a uh, first uh, face reveal of Mary Jane in this book okay we're looking good on the pages I've already went through the front of this book I've actually read this copy of the book when it came in and I didn't see anything we're actually really good on the pages here we're off white to white so I'm gonna go negligible on the pages on this one and we'll stick with the moderate on the other one but we probably will go to negligible once we uh, once a press could happen on that book so that's what we'll kind of figure out is what are the books now and then maybe evaluate after a cleaner press what they would look like and whether it'd be worth having that done so what I usually do is I'll ball ballpark the grade now just kind of give my own assessment of what I think the grade is and then when we get on the computer and using the point system, we can kind of do a reality check and kind of come to a consensus with myself of what I think the grade potential grade would be before we send it off to the graders. And then when the grade comes back, obviously we can figure out if we were spot on or do we need to fudge one way or the other with our grading. So that's kind of what I'm doing with the Silver Age submission because it's a lot of low to mid grade books. So I'm testing that part of, of the points based system. So on this one, so what usually the best way to do it is be like, okay, this can't be this, and it and probably isn't that. So I don't think this is ever going to be like a six. This is just too bad. So five is probably the best this book could ever do. So we've established that. What could it not be? Like a three? I don't think it's bad enough to be a three. This is holding us back here, though, these color break increases. So I think somewhere in the three and a half to four range is probably where we're sitting on this book. So I'm going to say this book's probably a 3.5 now with this crease here. Yeah, all, basically everything is on the cover on this book, which I guess is the key area of this book. But everything else is great on this book, so that's why I think we're on the upper end in, in the middle of mid-grade. So I'm going to go, we're 3.5 now on this book and a 4.0 after press and clean. This one... It's a really nice book. You can almost grade this like a high grade book and do a more of a uh, subtractive process as CGCS said they do. So this is going to get us out of 9.8 or 9.6. We know that. Probably going to get us out of 9.4 too. So I think our starting point is a 9.2 on this book. I think with the corners here, we're probably doing 9.2. And with this damage, we're at a 9.2 starting. With that dent in the back, that's going to take us all the way down to probably an 8, I would think, through the pages. So I think this book, right now, if I send it in as it sits, I think it'd be a solid 8.0. And I know the dent and everything is on the back, but it's still there. So I think if you were able to press out the denting, and there's no color breaks associated with it because it's on the white area of the cover, and then we just clean up these little you know, um, handling wear areas. Can't get rid of the color breaks, obviously. If we just have the color breaks left, the small pine, spine tick here. I actually think this book has a chance of getting 9.0. I don't think we're going to get 9.2 on it. We have a little bit of page damage here, I just noticed. So I guess we're going to have to upgrade that a little bit. Downgrade it? Upgrade it? <laughs> Downgrade it. So we're no longer at negligible because I just noticed a ding on the pages here. So that's going to get us to minor. Actually, we were already at moderate on the pages. I, I must say we're capped at minor on the pages instead of being capped at negligible. So that's the difference. So I think this book is a solid 8.0 now with a potential of a 9.0. But I wouldn't be surprised if it ends up being an 8.0. So I'm going to stick with that for now. 8.0 with a potential 9.0. Which is awesome on a 1965 book. Is that what this is? What is this? 64? 66. 19, November 66 on this book. I would be very, very happy with anything at a 6.0 or higher. But I think we're going to get that. I think this is definitely at least an 8.5 after clean and press. And possibly a 9.0. Don't think we can get to the ultra high grades 9.2 plus though on this book. So let's get on the computer now. 
and we'll continue on. Okay, so let's go ahead and just look at the first book we had. We had a lower grade one, mid grade, and then an, a higher grade one. So let's do the lower grade one first. So we had nothing on bindery. We had minor on corners. And we had, I'm sorry, moderate, somewhere between moderate and extensive on corners, my bad. On edges, we had moderate. We had extensive on spine. And we had tiny on staples, extensive on cover, and minor on pages. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's do a little reality check here. This tool is saying we're at 5.5 based on our assessment. So let's look through what we did because this is the first time I've been this far off with the tool using this. So let me just reality check this. Corners are blunted pretty good. We had somewhere between moderate and extensive. But looking at that corner there, and that one there, I think it's a little bit more, it's more on the extensive side. So what I would do is I would check these boxes here. So I'm pretty sure it's more towards extensive rather than just moderate. So I think we kind of messed up there a little bit. Edges, if you look at that bottom edge there, does that not look extensive to you? And the top one looks the same way, yet I put it as moderate. I don't agree with what I did there. So I at least need to be somewhere between modern and extensive. So I'm gonna add some more on here. And I think, I think we could just go straight extensive. Moderate is, it's still, a, if we just look at our own definition here, obvious and detracts from the presentation, appeal of the book. Extensive, too bad to be considered moderate, but not bad enough to be considered major. I think extensive fits pretty well there. Now there's no tears or anything like that. So that's probably, but it is, moderate to heavy wear along almost the entire top and bottom edge of this book. Okay, so I'm just going to go between moderate and extensive, but more on the extensive side. And let's just stick with that and just keep going here. Spine, I don't think we're going to get to major on this book. I'm pretty confident in what I did with extensive there. Yeah, I'm going to stick with that for now. Now the cover. Extensive. I think we could say we're extensive here but maybe we're a little bit on the higher end. I mean, look at that corner here. How many books do you see with a corner like that, with all that creasing that are a 5.0? I guess it's possible. Maybe it's possible. Yeah, we could stick. I've seen some 5.0 books that look kind of like this. So we'll stick with that for now. The pages we had minor, although we did notice those little ticks at the top, like up in the upper right-hand side, are, are more like dings through the entire book. Maybe we could call that moderate or on the higher end of minor. Okay, so I think we've done a better assessment of this book. It's tough to do these lower mid-grade books because there's so much gray area. There's so much room for interpretation. But I'm going to just err on the side of what my eyes thought this book was, and then we'll fudge it upward maybe based on this tool because maybe I'm overcooking it a little bit. So I said 3.5 on this book, and the tool's saying 4.5 now after we reassess and did a reality check on it. It's really saying five. I certainly think this book could be a 4.5. I've seen books that are 5.0 that look similar to this, but I think it's more of the exception than the rule. I'm gonna say this book's a 4.0. I'm actually gonna come up a little bit on my grade. I'm gonna say this book's a 4.0 now, and with a potential 4.5. I'm gonna roll with that. This tool is not perfect. This is a ballparking tool. I want you guys to keep that in mind. Now, nine times out of ten, I'm getting closer than this. And actually, this is the farthest I've ever been off on one of these. So it's good that I have this book because this will be a really, really good gauge once this book comes back from being graded. If it comes back a 5.5, we'll wait, be like, okay, the tool was much more close than I was. But if it comes back a 4 or 4.5, we'll be like, okay, it's a good thing we have this reality, reality checking system in place where we have a multi-tiered grading system. We're not just looking at a book, throwing a grade, moving on. We use the tool, then we use our own eyes, then we sit down at the computer and we recalibrate, and we come up with like a, that third layer of reassessing to come up with hopefully more accurate grading as we move forward. And that's kind of the whole purpose of this process that I came up with. So we're gonna roll with that. 4.0 before press, 4.5 after press. Okay, so now let's go ahead and take a look at the second book that we did. This is the more higher mid-grade book that we had done. 
And let's just do the same process here. I'll do it a little bit faster on this one since you're up to speed on how this thing works. Okay, so we're sitting here at 7.0 according to the tool. I thought this book looked like an 8.0 based on what I was seeing visually. So once again, let's reality check this. Are the pages bad enough to be considered moderate? I think so. Is the cover bad enough to be considered moderate? I think we have to because of that denting on the back. I don't know if it would be discounted because it's on the back and we're actually a little bit less. I mean, if we went minor on this, where would we be? We'd be at 7.5. If there's really nothing on the staples but that tiny little thing, maybe that gets us a little bit off. Um, spine, definitely minor. Edges, I think we have to stick with minor. Corners, I think we have to stick with moderate because of the way those corners look. One of the corners is hidden in this photo, but actually the top two as well. But you, I think we can maybe go the low end of moderate and do something like this. So I think the tool is pretty close. Um, we're at 29 points on the tool, and that's 7.0. 7.5 would be 24 or less. So it's pretty solidly in the 7.0. So that's the thing with this. Is that scratch and everything, is that dending going to cost us that much? Or do we stick with the subtractive process? So are we harshly grading it? Is the tool harshly grading this thing at 7.0? I'm not sure. That's a really, really good question. So I think this book looks like an 8.0. The tool thinks we look at a 7.0. So I'd meet it in the middle. I think we could start out, this book would be a 7.5 before press. I think that's a good consensus on that. I wouldn't be surprised if 7.5. You could definitely grade that scratch harshly, maybe that tiny, tiniest little piece almost missing on that corner there, and then that denting through the entire book. Oh yeah, I certainly could see 7.5 or 7 on that. So yeah, it's, it's good that we're using this tool because now it's making me rethink a dent in two spots, one going all the way through the book. That's pretty, that's pretty significant. I think that's going to almost hit us on a, a minimum or a maximum. If we look at our maximum chart here, um, let's see, creases, max, what are we looking at here? It's really hard, there's not really anything that goes exactly, what we could call it creasing, and if you consider all the way through the book, I mean, and then on the cover, and then some other creases, maybe call this scratch a crease, we're definitely in the two inch range probably, so 7.0 might be spot on when we if we hit a maximum on that, so we'll roll with that. So let's recreate this on the right hand side here and then we'll see what do we think this book could look like after a clean and press. So there's nothing we can do with the corners, nothing we can do with the edges really. Spine however, we thought maybe we could get on the lower end of minor. No, I actually I think we're, we're good on the minor. I take that back. I thought we were moderate there for a second. No, we're gonna stick with that. Minor is about as good as we can do on this spine. It can be cleaned up a little bit, but we're not going to get to tiny on the spine. It's just, we have those couple ticks and there's nothing we can do about it. Those color breaks. Staples, we have a, the reason we're at tiny is because we had that one little stress along that staple. So we're going to stick with tiny on that. So it looks like, actually, you know what? I forgot to put my pages back on this. Okay, yeah. So, um, cover. Can we get off moderate? I think we can. We can get rid of that dent, and I, but I think that scratch there on the cover is going to keep us at minor. Pages. This is where we can do some improvement. I think if we get rid of the denting, which there's no tears or anything, we could go all the way down to, what did I say, minor? I'm trying to think of why it would be minor otherwise. Why not tiny? I think, I think this is, it's hard to say this on pages. These pages could just be not assessed as all as having any kind of defect. Well, let's just assume it comes back as tiny. Let's see if it makes a difference. We're at 8.0 regardless of what we click there, so let's just leave it there. Um, so this book thinks, I mean this tool thinks it's 7.0 before and an 8.0 after. I thought this book could be a 9.0 after press and clean. Is that scratch going to hold us back that much? Are the corners going to hold us back? Maybe. So I'm definitely, I'm, I'm thinking 9.0 might be out of the realm of possibility based on this. I'm not seeing a whole bunch of 9.0, 9.2s with those big scratches on it and a little tiny piece of the corner missing. I might be harshly grading this thing. 
now by going this route, but I think I'm going to have to lower my expectations on this book. I think this book is a 7.5, and I think it's capped at 8.5. I think it can get 8.5. I've seen books not quite as good as this one make 8.5, and some even 8, 9.0, but you know what? I think there's kind of a range. I think this book might get 9.0 30% of the time, 8.5 what what 50% of the time and 8.0 the other 20% of the time so I think the meat of this the times we submit this book we're gonna be at 8.5 after a clean and press assuming they can get all that denting out without tearing anything so I'm gonna stick with that 7.5 now 8.5 potential after press not surprised by an 8.0 disappointed but not surprised not, not really happy but not surprised with a 9.0 as well so once again, I'm glad we had these books come along because these are the first books that I've been this far off with the tool. So this will really help us, these books coming back will help us more than the other ones maybe even, if, depending on, so whatever grade comes back on this one, I'm gonna be very interested and it's gonna make me be able to calibrate or recalibrate the tool if necessary. So we're gonna stick with that for now. So yeah, we're glad to, Get this one done so we can send these off. I think I've got one more after this one to grade and then we'll do our submission and then we'll just, it's just a matter of time. We can wait for those books to come back and I'm probably going to fast track these books. So maybe we can get them back a little bit quicker than 11 months this time. Maybe, maybe the pressing process takes the majority of the time that the guy uses backed up pretty good. Maybe we can get to him and get him done in four to five months and then the fast track will get the books back one or two months after that. So maybe six, seven months we can get this these books back and we'll be able to move on to the next batch after we recalibrate right so thanks for watching again happy collecting